Hello and welcome back to another video. Now today you join me for a scratch build project and today we're going to be looking at making some buffer stops. So here we have the prototype putting that into focus. We're going to be building the timber built style. As you can see I've got a few different variants here on my phone screen. But the timber built ones will be the one we're going to have a go at. So let's have a look at what we have. Before we get started then, let's have a look online and see what we can find to, to buy straight off the shelf. And to start with, here we go on here we are on the Hornby website, and you can see here we can get a single buffer stop for £2.60. A lot of money, right? So let's have a look at another website. OK, so here we go, we have another one, this time for £1.80, a little bit cheaper, but that's still a lot of money for one buffer stop. Just think of five sidings, that's £10. So, what I have here are some sleepers, or sleeper offcuts, and there we have five sleepers, and of course, if you were to get your standard Hornby R606, sorry, R600 straight, you can easily get, there's about 25 sleepers on there, so you could easily make five buffer stops there, and as you can see again, we'll go back to my phone, there we go. and again on the Hornby website, we can get one of those for £2.30, or having a route around again, then we can get one for £2. So, what we're looking at, we're either looking at £2.30 for a buff stop or £2 for five buff stops. Sounds much cheaper, right? So, let's get cracking. So I'm just cutting these sleepers up now and you're probably thinking why would you want to cannibalise a perfectly good quality piece of track? Well, Obviously you're getting much more for your money, you can make, as I said before, five pieces, five sleepers uh, type buffers out of those, instead of the single one which we looked at, but also with the bits of rail you could easily make a, cut them up and make a load for a train, or even use them as just some bits of maintenance work next to your sidings. We have the two support beams, so these will sit vertical. Let's just put these roughly how they'll look, and then we'll have the actual buffer bar on the top, something like that. And then with these pieces here, we're going to make the vertical diagonal, sorry, diagonal arms to hold the sleeper tight buffer onto the track. back the next day and this has been left to dry overnight and well as you can see we now have a buffer stop let's bring that into focus so as you can see we have the front there and we have two angled legs at the back 
And just remember that this has cost me about 50p maybe to make instead of the £2.60 ones that we saw before. So is it worth it? Well, I think so. So I'm going to go and fi fix this on the layout and we'll have a closer look. And now we have the bus stop in place at the end of the rails on the bastard siding. And as you can see, I've got the manor just up next to it here. As you can see, the buffer stop is at a slight angle uh, up to the left, and that's because I need to create a small ballast heap at the end of the siding, which was typically seen as a second precautionary measure. So, I hope you've enjoyed this How I Do style video. Thank you very much for watching. Bye for now.